So let's go ahead and take a look at our Raphael figure outside of the packaging. Now, unlike with Leonardo, there's nothing that we actually need to attach to Raphael here. Since he doesn't have sheaths or anything like that, he's ready to go right out of the box. And since we already took a look at Leonardo, we do have to compare Raphael to him, just so you can see that there are differences between the turtles, which is perfect because that's exactly how they appear in the cartoon series. So if we stand Raphael side by side with Leonardo, you will notice that Raphael is a little more stout. He's slightly shorter than Leonardo, and he's a lot bulkier. He has a much wider shell there, and just has a bit of a heftier look to him all around. He's also got a lot of cool little details that we didn't see with Leonardo. For example, you'll notice he's got that signature crack right there on the front of his shell. He's also got several little scratches and scars kind of seen on the tan part on the front of his shell there. And even if we flip the shell around to the backside, he's even got some cracks and some chunks missing out of the back of his shell. Because, of course, Raphael is the tougher and rougher of the turtles, so that's why he's a little more cracked up than the rest. Now, the figure features the same beautiful paint job that we already saw with Leonardo. So he's got a really great kind of flat color to him. Uh, the green seems to be about the same color we saw with Leonardo, but the chest part of the shell is a much lighter tan color than what we saw with Leonardo there. And, of course, he's wearing his signature red bandanas across his eyes. The head's shaped a little bit different. He's also got a bit of a different look on his face there. Even the shape of his eyes are slightly different than what we saw with Leonardo. And, of course, he does have the pupils in there, just as they appear in the cartoon series. There's a lot of really great paintwork going on here, just like we saw with Leo as well. Uh, everything is fully painted on here, so you'll notice that he's got a great mixture of dark and light greens from the shell to the skin there. He's got that lighter tan going on. He's got sort of this olive green for the shell. And then, of course, he's got the dark brown scene on his belt and all of the wraps around his elbows, his wrists, his knees, and his feet. And then he's got white wraps going around his fingers. All of the paintwork is nice and crisp and very clean on the action figure itself. Now, of course, these guys feature a high amount of articulation. So let's go ahead and run that down with Raphael here. He's got the same ball jointed head that is sort of double ball jointed. So it turns both at the top of the neck and the base of the neck. So you can make him look left and right, up and down, and even kind of bobble it all around there. He's got these really nice ball joints at the shoulders. So that means the arms can go quite a bit upwards. They can move backwards. They can swivel left and right for a really great range of motion with the arms there. On top of that, he's got ball joints at the elbows, which have a really great uh, mobility to them. So you can really bend those arms there. He's got ball joints at the wrist, so you can swivel them left and right and even kind of pivot them forwards and backwards. And every single finger is individually articulated. He's also got a torso cut there, so just like we've seen with Leonardo, you can actually kind of maneuver his upper body. First time we've ever seen Ninja Turtles with a break at their shell. He's got ball joints at the upper thigh, so the legs can twist, they can move forwards and backwards there. He's got the same type of ball joints at the knees underneath the knee pads, so you can get a great range of motion with the legs there. And then the ankles there are also ball jointed, so you can roll the feet all the way around on these guys. Now, you might have noticed that I did pop that arm out of socket while I was bending him around. That's because they do tend to kind of pop out of socket, but that is okay. These figures are meant to do that, so it's very easy just to pop it back in if they pop out of socket. And then, of course, just like with Leonardo, the back of the bandana can also be posed, and it's got the ability where you turn it left and right, and it rotates the eyes in his head. So that way you can make Raphael looking straight on, make him look left, make him look right, and you even have the ability to turn it all the way to the side to completely white out his eyes, just like they are seen in the cartoon series when they're running into battle. That articulation works very similar to what we had with Leonardo. So I'm going to say, just like I said with him, it can be a bit wonky at times. Because there are so many ball joints here, sometimes it takes a little bit of patience to kind of maneuver this guy the way you want to. But playing around with him, it's really fun just to see all of the crazy battle poses you can get this guy to make. And of course, you're going to want to need to use his weapons to make some of the best poses. Raphael includes his signature weapon in the side. 
And just like we saw with Leonardo, the weapons are fully painted. So we've got great brown handles there. We've got kind of a lighter brown at the base of the handles and the blades themselves are a beautiful metallic silver. I do need to point out that one of my sides does have a nasty brown paint smudge on the blade itself, which you can see there in some of the shots. But other than that, they are really nice. He does have little holes in the palms of his hand, and there's little pegs on the handles of the side. So you can actually plug those in firmly into his hand, so that way he holds onto them nice and tight, and then just kind of close the fingers in a grasping pose around them. Now we can get him in some really great battle poses, and you can get him holding those Psy in different positions. You can get him holding upright, you can have him holding them upside down, and without using the peg, since his fingers are individually articulated, you can even get him grasping it where that middle blade goes between his fingers, which is one of my favorite ways to pose Raphael action figures. So you can get some really cool poses of Raphael charging into battle and fighting off the foot soldiers. So Raphael does include a few other accessories in addition to his signature weapon. First of all, he also includes his own little display base. Very similar to what we saw with Leo, it features a New York City kind of sewer lid there on the bottom, and the little backdrop there has what looks sort of like a mailbox. Now this stand isn't meant to actually attach to his feet and stand him on it, but it's more meant so that you can get aerial poses out of him. You notice there's a little ball jointed peg right there at the top of the mailbox. There's a hole at the bottom of Raphael's shell so you can firmly plug this little peg in there and it balances perfectly so that way we can pose Raphael in some dives or some jump kicks and get some really cool aerial battle poses out of him. His last accessory is an alternate head. And this head is really cool, as it features one of those really crazy kind of over-animated looks that they sometimes show in the cartoon series. Raphael's here is sort of like a mad, raging head, because what else would Raphael have? He's the mean one. <laughs> The head's very easy to pop off of the figure. It's just on a little peg that's attached to that ball joint. So you can pop the head right off. And then you're also going to want to pop the back of the bandana off to plug it into this alternate head. Then you can easily attach that right to that same peg. It may take a little bit of work the first time around. But once you get it on there, you've got yourself a screaming, raging Raphael figure. I really love that these added heads are included with these figures because it really brings a whole new element from the cartoon series into action figure form that we've really never seen before. I don't know if this is exactly the way I'll be displaying these guys on my shelf, but I love having the option to do it. Alright guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at Raphael standing alongside both of the basic Nick versions from the Playmates Toys toy line. That way you can see the difference between them. And here he is standing alongside some of the other collector Raphael figures that we've seen in recent years. From Playmates Toys featuring the classic cartoon series and movie, as well as NECA Toys focusing more on the original comic books. I am really loving these Rebel Tech TMNT action figures. Raphael here is another fantastic one. These guys are really crazy articulated, and I will say that with all those ball joints showing at the shoulders and the upper thighs, it does kind of ruin the sculpt just a little bit. So for those of you out there who aren't big on heavy articulation, maybe these guys aren't for you. But just the fact that you can get them in so many crazy poses, the fact that they have great sculpts, beautiful paint jobs, and really cool accessories, makes these some of the very best Ninja Turtles figures I think that I've ever seen. And they are certainly some of the most cartoon accurate that we have ever received. We can pair this guy up with our Leonardo here, and we are building one heck of a cool-looking action figure display of one of my all-time favorite teams. Now we just need that Donnie and Mikey to complete the set, so that way we have a full team ready to do battle. So one of the downsides with these being imports from Japan is that they are a bit costly. These guys are going to run you upwards of $60 a figure, which I know can be a little tough for somebody who may just be a casual collector. But if you can pull the trigger and purchase these guys, 
I think they're well worth it. They are very fun action figures. Unless you live in Japan, you'll probably need to track these guys down online at stores such as BigBadToyStore.com. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.